Hello and welcome, I'm Miss Fizz, and today we're going to learn all about the new crafting bags in Elder Scrolls Online. Crafting bags are a special inventory space, and they're separate from your bag and bank. And of course, they only actually hold crafting materials. To give you a quick rundown, they are account-wide. They're only available to ESO Plus subscribers, so you can't buy one for crowns. You have to subscribe to have access to one. And crafting bags are considered infinite. Technically, there's some ridiculously large number, but for all purposes, they are infinite. They will hold as many crafting things as you can find in it. First, I'll explain how they work. When you first have access to a crafting bag by subscribing to ESO Plus, you'll need to log in to every character. As you log in to each character, it's going to suck all your crafting materials out of that character's inventory and out of your bank, and it'll put it in your nice shiny new crafting bag. You'll notice that suddenly you have a lot more inventory space. Once all the items are in your bag, you can view what is in your crafting bag on any character. You just open up your normal inventory screen and click over on the crafting bag to see what you have stored. If you want to remove something from your crafting bag, all you need to do is right click and select retrieve. You only need to withdraw items if you want to mail, trade, or sell them. You also can only withdraw 200 at a time because that's actually the max stack size on normal your normal inventory space. But don't worry, if you want more than 200, you can just keep retrieving stacks and stacks. Oh, but it gets better. If you're looking to craft, there is absolutely no need to move items between characters or even withdraw them from your bag. Your crafting bag works like your bank. When you head to a crafting station, it doesn't matter if you have the items in your actual backpack or not, you can use all of them, just like when you're in the bank. Of course, I'm on a character that doesn't know much, so I have to take away have knowledge, but you'll see that all the items that are not taking up inventory space are available to actually be crafted with. Another really cool thing. Since the introduction of using some of your bait into provisioning recipes, that means all your bait is actually in your crafting bag. Now, fishing also works like, you know, crafting materials does. And if your bait is inside your crafting bag, you just walk up to a fishing hole and select your bait. There is no need to pull it out of your bag, out of your bank, or any of that when you're an ESO Plus subscriber and have access to a crafting bag. You will also notice that even when using the default game loot drop to show you what you just automatically retrieved, it will show you what items are going in your crafting bag by the little crafting bag symbol that shows up. Now, a big thing is this is only available to ESO Plus subscribers. So what happens if your subscription lapses or you decide not to subscribe anymore? Don't worry, you won't lose access to all of your crafting materials. If you choose to cancel your ESO Plus subscription or for some reason you can't pay it so it gets cancelled for a while, you still will be able to remove items from your crafting bag. All that will happen is that you will no longer be able to put items back in your crafting bag. See, here because I am an ESO Plus subscriber, I can stow items I manually retrieved, put them back in my crafting bag. If you do not subscribe anymore, you will not have that option. You will be able to withdraw items. You won't be able to put anything in there. That includes the automatic putting things in there when you loot items. That won't work if you are no longer a subscriber. That's all there is to know about crafting bags. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all, be sure to leave a comment and I'll try to answer you as soon as possible. I'm Miss Biz. Bye for now.